Today we're going to discuss the color of your urine and what that means. You can use urine as an indicator to determine what's going on deeper inside your body. First question is, what is urine? Well, urine is filtered blood. Now you have these little tiny magical filters in your kidneys called nephrons. And these nephrons are very intelligent. They recycle a lot of good material, but they also selectively are able to take out the poisons and the bad stuff and push those out of your body. So today we're going to diagnose or dissect this problem based on just color alone. If you're urinating and the urine is completely clear, this means that you're drinking too much water because you're diluting your urine so much, you're losing all these pigments. Now, what's interesting about drinking a lot of water to somehow get hydrated, people that drink too much water, they dilute their sodium and they actually become dehydrated. Because the key with hydration is the right amount of electrolytes with the right amount of water. If your urine is clear, might not want to drink so much. I always like to recommend drinking when you're thirsty. And especially if you're not working out or sweating. Yeah, too much water could actually be dangerous. All right, so the next color is basically yellow or amber. And that color is really coming from a pigment in your blood. I'm not going to get into the chemistry of how that happens, but... When you see your urine being yellow, amber, or straw colored, that means that it's normal. All right, the next color we're going to talk about in your urine is if the color is red or pink. Usually, this means that there's blood involved. Now, there's several reasons why you might have blood in the urine. It could be a kidney stone. It could be that you're menstruating and that contaminated the urine. This could also be some type of an infection or it could be something more serious. But anytime you have blood, you should get it checked out by your doctor. Some people that run a lot, like joggers, for example, they're doing a lot of pounding on their kidneys. Sometimes that can cause bleeding as well. Okay, now what about if it's like orange or really almost fluorescent type yellow? That usually means that you're taking synthetic vitamins and they're going out through the urine. And especially the B vitamins, it'll give that bright fluorescent color. It can also commonly mean that there's certain medications that you're taking that have certain dyes in them. On a rare occasion, if your urine is orange, it could be something going on with your gallbladder or your liver, but that's not very common. Okay, what about blue-green urine? What's up with that? Well, did you just take something called methylene blue? That'll make your urine blue. Are you taking medication that is turning it blue-green? There's a lot of different foods that have artificial colors that will make your urine different colors. Sometimes an asparagus can make the urine green. If it's dark brown, chances are you're dehydrated. You need to add more fluid. As it goes darker into the browns, that is usually a liver problem. Now, what if your urine is normal color, but it's foamy, like someone put some soap in it? This could mean several things. It could mean that you're consuming too much protein. It could also mean you have chronic kidney disease and you're usually going to see protein in the urine from that. And it can even occur if you're a diabetic because usually with diabetes, with all the sugar coming through, it tends to like rust out different parts of your body, especially the kidneys. The number one cause of kidney damage is diabetes. And this is why we see a high correlation between protein in the urine and diabetes and of course the foaminess in the urine. But probably the first thing you should do is just start cutting down your protein and just see if that handles it. What about if your urine is just cloudy? It's not transparent. It's opaque. This usually means there's an infection, okay? And the most common urinary tract infection is from the microbe E. coli. So if you have that, you might want to get it checked out to see if you do have urinary tract infection. The other thing you need to know about with an infection is that if you're a diabetic, all that sugar that's in your blood spills off into the urine to feed these pathogens. And just as a side note, if someone is excessively thirsty all the time or, or and they're excessively urinating a lot, that's usually an indication of diabetes, but it can also be an indication that your calcium is too high in your blood. And that's called hypercalcemia. Now, if you have not seen my other video on urine, I put it up right here check it out.